Hello everybody. This week, God has been speaking to me about the place where I am. A good friend of mine sent me a verse by a 13th century Persian poet called Rumi. The place where you are right now, God circled on a map for you. This really spoke to me, that sense of God peering over a map of my life's journey and circling this particular time and place as something of importance. A noteworthy place, a place of transformation, a moment in time that is pregnant with things to come, but also holds a sense of things past. I've journeyed to this place. God circled it on a map. In his heart, it's a destination, a known place. And that gave me such a sense of God's presence with me right here, right now. And if God knows this place, if he circled it on a map of my life, then it's also a place of meeting. God is waiting for me here. He has prepared a table for me. He has oil to anoint my head, water to wash my feet, food for me to eat and wine to quench my thirst. He throws out his arms in welcome, clasps me about my waist, hauls me up against his heart, swings me round and throws back his head in joy that I have made it this far. He is pleased to see me in this place that he circled on a map for me. I may arrive weary from the journey, dusty and travel-worn, perhaps heart-sick and foot-sore, but I have arrived. And what is true for me is also true for you. The place where you are now, God circled on a map for you. What is this place for you, this destination that you have reached? What joy, transformation, healing, wholeness, wisdom or gift does God have for you in this place that God circled on the map of your life? Perhaps this destination is a place of grief, a place of pain, of disappointment, somewhere that you would rather not be. Perhaps a place that you have long avoided coming to. But God circled this place on the map of your life. It is known to him and he is here waiting to meet with you. Perhaps it is a place of joy, of new hope, a place of breakthrough, a place of blessing. Whatever this place is for you, the God of hope, the God of all comfort, our rock, our strength, our anchor, the God who calms the storm, sheltered us beneath his wings, comforts us with his loving kindness, holds our anger and fear, washes away our guilt and shame and resurrects us back to life. This God is waiting for you in this place that he has circled on the map of your life. His arms are open. All you need to do is walk into them. I'd like to encourage all of you to take some time this week to explore the place that you find yourself through God's eyes, to walk into his arms and to receive all that he has for you. Amen.